Hi there. <laughs> this is a song I wrote for anyone wondering what the heck permaculture is. I hope you enjoy. A permaculture design just finished up my course. Wanna take it home, take the world on a tour to force of fruits and trees, flowers and bees, sprouts and seeds, enough for you and me. First come the earth, yeah, you got to take care of it. Then come the people, then each his fair share of it. Design for the earth and you design for yourself. Help design a world better for you and everybody else. Yeah, principle one, observe and interact. Or you won't get far, man, that is just a fact. Principle two, capture and store energy. Put the water in the ground instead of washing out the sea. Principle three, e -e is often so so tasty it's obtain a yield no matter what you grow it got to eat to work to live to make it worth all the hoeing principle four i keep you on track self-regulate and accept feedback by that i mean you got to know that things change don't be afraid to learn from nature's ways mm. First come the earth, yeah, you got to take care of it. And then come the people, and each his fair share of it. Design for the earth, and you design for yourself. Help design a world better for you and everybody else. Principle five, it's better to be renewable. Hydroelectric, solar power, it's super doable. You don't need a tractor if you got a horse. If you got two hands, you don't need brute force. Principle six, waste is an illusion. Nature recycles all while we waste time in confusion. Principle seven, design for power. I know it's Hillsborough Group's Apple Bay. Speak louder, please. All right, I might need to come closer. Okay. Everybody come uh, we have a, a Gaius Guardians permaculture group in St. Petersburg that's uh, about two and a half years old. It'll be three years in, in this, this spring. Uh, very active. Uh, we've done about 16 perma blitzes in two years. Uh, we operate a half acre uh, garden downtown St. Pete at a transitional living facility. The food goes into the facility and we sell the excess on uh, St. Pete uh, locally grown. Uh, we have a website called uh, GaiasGuardians.info with a lot of uh, permaculture and uh, food growing information for our local region, which is West Central Florida. Uh, there's a time bank that grew out of our permaculture group that's now kind of operating independently, but uh, it's active and growing. A very, very important uh, uh, activity, the time bank, where people trade hours, no money involved. It's really part of the alternative economy. Uh, let's see here. Uh, at Gibbs High School is one of our perma blitzes, but uh, with the teacher is here, Anna Scott. Uh, she works with developmentally challenged children at the high school level, and uh, they didn't have access to food for their kitchen program and no money for it, so they started a garden, and the permaculture group, Guys Guardians, did a blitz there for them. So that's, that's active. <laughs> right at the public school level. Are you saying Gaia's Guardians? Gaia's Guardians, right. Uh, in Hillsborough, there's a Beyond Sustainability Conference that happens annually. It happens at Hillsborough Community College. Uh, it's, the topic this year is social entrepreneurship and sustainable economy. Uh, that's a pretty big conference and very worthwhile. And uh, I believe Hillsborough Community College won a national award for being the most actively uh, engaged in uh, permaculture type activities, environmental activities. Uh, grow permaculture, that's uh, Corrine Brennan's uh, uh, business here. They're doing, uh, they're teaching uh, PDCs uh, quite regularly. They hold workshops, uh, they do consulting. Uh, she's also part, uh, started a group called Create Clearwater, which involves uh, environmental and permaculture activities in the city of Clearwater. Uh, it's a community organization. And uh, we have a very large uh, sustainable urban agriculture coalition in St. Petersburg. Every 
received a $30,000 grant to uh, stimulate urban agriculture in the city. And uh, we have just been in the process now of uh, selecting the board of directors, very powerful group of people with a lot of skills, a lot of diversity, age diversity, ethnic diversity. Uh, I'm really looking forward to working with these people. Uh, Corrine is the coordinator of the Urban Ag uh, uh, Grant, uh, and she's been doing a wonderful job. Uh, in, uh, in Clearwater, there's a MLK uh, community garden uh, that's starting up. Uh, lots of community gardens starting in St. Pete. Uh, and uh, in, as part of Gaia's Guardians of the Faith House project, we have a 10,000 Greens project where we're trying to get uh, fresh greens into the food challenge areas in St. Petersburg. So uh, 10,000 greens over a period of years. And we have the MLK Day of Service coming up. We have a lot of garden projects going on. We're trying to get 1,000 greens out on the day. In uh, Tampa, the Roosevelt 2.0 was originally uh, Teddy Roosevelt's riding stables during the Spanish-American War. Uh, that's becoming a center for sustainability in Tampa. And they're developing a prototype for a complete waste energy system. So if any of you have uh, interest in that, see Mayor here. She knows more about it than I do. Uh, Google Cordis, C-O-R-D-I-S system. Edible Peace Patch manages to stimulate uh, school gardens all over the city of St. Pete. That's functioning. And in uh, Tampa, there's a birdhouse buying club, organic food co-op, uh, let's see, including organic sustainable farms all over Florida. Apparently those are the be resources that they buy from. Uh, and I know, uh, uh, what's his name? Oh, uh, Ryan Iacobacci there. He and I are both trying to get to Cuba to study uh, urban agriculture next month uh, around Havana and study co-ops there. So a lot, a lot going on in our area. We're very pleased to let you know about it. Thank you. multi-species uh, animal rescue farm. It's 96 acres and is trying to use permaculture design on the property for growing fodder for all the animals. Maybe some rabbits for the lions and tigers. Uh, we have Jim Kovaleski. He's working on a home scale property. He's a market gardener. He's an urban farmer and he has a Freedom House Farm. Is that correct? All right. Right and he does home tours and workshops, and he's been at a couple of conferences talking about Google culture and wonderful things going on. Every Saturday, an open house. Mm -hmm. Look up, um, yeah, talk to me. <laughs> you're in Tasco, you have to go to Jim's place. Jim, your site demo today? Oh, yeah, I'll be doing a site demo after, um, during the plant block. And we'll be over by that big red truck, all red. So we also have Leon from Dade City. Uh, uh, he's got 400 acres and he has a farm incubator. Uh, you can rent the acreage for $20 per acre. I, I'm just reading notes, I don't know all the details. But he's looking for designers and farmers and he has a website at bigsmallfarm.org. I guess he's creating an intentional community from what I've got, gathered from speaking with him. Uh, not not really, but if anybody is interested, drop us a line and we can talk. There's BigSmallFarm.org. Right there. I'll drop you a line. Then we have uh, Wendell from a lake. 
Uh, she does uh, water buffalo, growing fruits and vegetables and native plants. Uh, we have Phil from Dade City and he works at Morningstar Farm. It's an aquaponic uh, institute. They teach about aquaponics in all around the world. They do courses on site and international teaching on aquaponics and permaculture applications. Um, then I don't have it written down, but I know Pete and Melissa Canaris, they have a small farm in Newport Ritchie and they're moving to a bigger farm, a couple of acres in the next couple of weeks and they, they're permaculture designers. And then I have myself written down, uh, I'm with uh, Suncoast Co-op. I have an online co-op and we connect farmers and we have like a farmer's market that's online where you can purchase locally made goods. I've also volunteered at a couple of community gardens in the Newport Ridge area. We have a, there's a big park called Sims Park in downtown Newport Ridge and we took over um, a piece of property and we made it, it's called Peace Learning Garden so you can go in and learn how to grow your own vegetables and we, we have all been learning from Jim. He doesn't like to be called it, but he's kind of the town's guru for permaculture. <laughs> yeah. And he's been giving us a lot of information and teaching for free every single Saturday. And that's been getting a lot of people growing food instead of lawns. And we're just trying to promote that in our little area and get a community going. We have potlucks and get togethers and shares of plants and seeds. A lot of good stuff happening in Pasco. Can I say a couple things? Sure. I just like to, you know, he talked about the community that's building right around this Peace Garden area in downtown Newport Ritchie. Um, and, you know, I got a little publicity with like uh, WSF did a little uh, public television thing about it. And slowly around the gardens uh, and around my house, it has been spreading. The realtors are now calling Virginia Avenue where I live because my neighbor's doing it and it's down on on the Garden Street. And it's become a drawing point, a raising of property dollars. People are waiting for houses to become vacant in the neighborhood so they can show up. It's a building community where you are. I just heard this week, I was riding my bike back, and there was a woman walking the dog, and she said, there he is. He said, you're the reason I moved to Newport Ritchie. They saw, or she was in Pennsylvania, she saw a small, you know, that same YouTube thing, and she said, this is Florida, there's a small town where people are growing their own food, trading food back and forth. I want to live there. You know, so that's the things we can do by example. Yeah, wonderful. is I take YouTube, so I'm taking a camera footage of all of this. I'm all about open source. I think all of this is, with permaculture, it could be open sourced, a lot of it. And so Jim has done a lot of videos with me. He's done a Google culture video where he teaches about Google culture. He, I did a tour of his garden where you can see his garden. And I think, you know, sharing all this information is so important. And I, I didn't get a chance to talk about it. my intention. I hope this conference this convergence, you know, we can spread more open source information to everyone throughout Florida so that we could get little Newport Richies happening everywhere. And by the way, there's lots of vacancies, low cheap housing in Newport Richie. If you guys want to have a little piece of property, there's acres in Pasco County, Word of County to come to. Yeah. And it's on the beach or no? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Pinellas County, it's, all right, here's Florida, Pinellas County is a little peninsula, and then Pasco County is just above that little, where my thumb would be, uh, where peninsula of Pinellas County would be. So we're just north of it. If, if we want to see your stuff on YouTube, what should we type in? CodeGreenCommunity.com. <laughs> Absolutely.